is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is all about getting back on track. If you have been following my channel, then you know that I have strayed far away from my diet. And any smart person will tell you, you cannot out-train a bad diet. So if you've been slacking on your diet and exercise, stick around because we're gonna get back on track together. All right, guys, before we begin, if you are new, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button and comment down below, I sub, so that way I can say thank you. Today is an absolute beautiful day here in Southern Colorado. It is about 80 degrees and we need to take advantage. So I'm gonna meet you guys in the garage. Because if you are like me and your knees aren't what they used to be because you used to shred it on a skateboard, then I would highly recommend you get one of these bad boys. I picked up this retro bike from Walmart for about a hundred bucks. I am not about to spend $500, $2,000 on a bike. I am not joining the Tour de France anytime soon. So with all that being said, I'm about to get my inner child on and enjoy this bike ride. This is one of the best breakfast sandwiches I've had in a very long time. Bacon, egg, chorizo, breakfast sandwich on pumpernickel. Pumpernickel is my new favorite bread. Last bite, best bite. Okay guys, so it has been such a long time since we've had a one-on-one -on -one discussion. I wanna let you guys know what's been going on in my life as well as keeping this channel as transparent as possible. So some of you may know that I started a new series where I train like a celebrity for 24 hours. I am super excited to continue down that road. Those will be every Mondays. Fridays, I will keep the fitness journey videos so that way you guys can see my progression as well as answer any questions or concerns that you may have. I also want to keep Fridays open for recipes and reviews and any fun videos, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, so with all of that being said, let's get back onto the topic at hand. Getting back on track, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my diet has been so poor lately and it needs to be addressed. I am the type of person who in order to solve a problem, I need to know what the problem is. And let me rewind that back a little bit because dieting is not the problem. You see, you can either have a poor diet or a good diet. My personal problem is my eating disorder. And I can only speak for myself, but I truly believe that a lot of people have eating disorders and don't even know it. And some of you may know that I am an alcoholic and I have a very addictive personality. Now I've not had a drink in over three years, but over a year ago, I had a very vivid dream where I was drinking again. And I remember subconsciously thinking in that dream, well, I'm already going down this road, so I will worry about the consequences consequences tomorrow. And that is exactly how I sometimes feel about my diet. You see, when I have quote unquote junk food, I feel like I might as well just take the whole day to indulge in everything that I want. And that is what I need to address. You see, I need to find a diet that is going to be sustainable for me. And that brings me to one thing that you guys know I have discussed a lot on this video and I completely disagree with, and that is fad diets. Now, the whole idea of these fad diets are fine. And I'm not necessarily pointing them out because it is sometimes beneficial to go low carb but when you start looking at things like if you have bread you're going to be thrown out of the universe of ketosis that's a little bit ridiculous to me and again if you are somebody who can sustain a very restrictive diet more power to you all i know is that for me personally i need to find a diet that i can stick to for at least five years that is long-term goals and my exercising has been on point i go to the gym 
pretty much six days a week. And that is the most frustrating part is when you are putting so much work and effort into your body, all the aches, the pains, the sores, just to screw it all up because your diet is not on point. Now, another thing, you cannot expect fast results. And this is something that I struggled with and it was a very hard pill to swallow. You see, people like you and I have been eating like crap for many, many years. It is not gonna take two weeks, sometimes even two months to reverse that type of damage. And I have to continuously remind myself and keep it pushing. It is super easy to want to give up, especially with all of the advertisements that are thrown in our face day in and day out. But that is the most intriguing part to me. It is terrifying, at the same time exciting, to find out what is specifically going to work for me, and you should have that same excitement. I dread and also enjoy the challenge of figuring it out because I've lost the weight before, but that was a completely different animal. At that time, I was malnourished. Now I am trying to do things right to where this is gonna last decades. And this is one of the many reasons I am documenting this journey because a year from now, I wanna look back and see how much I've progressed. And this is why I encourage you guys so much to continue down this journey with me. If you are struggling with your diet, if you're struggling with your exercise, take it one thing at a time. Don't fall for these fad diets or these quick fixes because you're gonna end up like me months down the road with putting the weight back on and starting back at square one even more frustrated than when you began with. I made you guys a promise, I made myself a promise that this year was gonna be the year that we get in the best shape of our lives. We are in May, so we still have half a year to go and I'm still gonna honor that promise. Yes, there have been some hiccups, but that's what mistakes are for, and we learn from our mistakes, and we keep it pushing. And I am the type of person where action speaks so much louder than words, so I'm gonna dust myself off and get back on that horse, and I highly recommend that you do the same. Thank you so very much for tuning in today's video and listening to me rant. I promise we will get back on track. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and comment down below I sub so that way I can say thank you. And as always guys, stay safe, take care, and God bless.